Today we're going to do rolling text in LumaFusion. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool movement that I did with a Peppy Techie. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you enjoy the video. Start with a new project. First thing I want you to do is go to the gear in the upper right hand corner with a question mark and go to project settings and change this background to green screen. So to do this and to make it a perfect green screen and everybody's colors preferences are different. If you'll notice, if I do 00, zero FF00, zero zero, then all my green screens will be exactly the same. Very important with what we're going to do next. I'm going to go create a main title. I'm going to edit it. First thing I want to do is change the size to 100. You can make it anything you want, but this works for me. I'm going to change the text to this one. I'm going to go down to the edge color and change the width so it's a little thicker. Now again, we're doing one letter at a time, but I want it pretty thick. I'm going to edit this and just type R for rolling. Now, if you feel like you want it to have a thicker edge, that's up to you. I'm actually going to make it 15. So now I've got my first letter. I'm going to go back into edit and we're going to go into frame and fit. The very first thing you want to do is roll the timeline all the way to the left. Make your first size and position mark. Then you're going to take the X position and roll this all the way so it's just barely off the screen. Then hit the end button which will take you to three second end mark, the very end of the video. You're going to use your X position again to move this all the way on the end here. I just hit this just a couple times so it's barely off the screen. All right, so now your text is moving, but it's not rolling. So we're going to go to the mid mark on the timeline, which is right over this arrow right here. That's the mid mark, which it says 1.15. You think it'd be 1.15. 3, 0, it doesn't work that way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this clockwise. These little arrows here will let you rotate it perfectly. If you use your fingers, you have a tendency to move it. The other way you can do it is by holding on to this and moving it across the circle. And I'm going to do it till I'm at 180 degrees. If I need to get it really close, I use these arrows right here and I get it exactly 180 in the middle. Now I click the end button again on the timeline to move it back to the three second mark. And I continue this rotation. Now it's very important that you don't lose the same rotation. So I start it this way and I use this again to rotate it all the way around to 360 making sure I'm always going in the same direction. Okay, so now it's 360. So now you'll notice the text is rolling all the way across and off the screen. Now, it would be great if you only had three letter words. So if you really only had a three letter word, you could make this on one. So if it was the, this would work great. You could do what I'm doing. But the problem is if I'm using a word like rolling, I can't, I only have three lines on the timeline. So we have to use multiple videos. So what we're going to do is now that we've got the movement, I'm just going to go to this and I'm going to clone it. And I'm going to move it up from 0, 3.00, 0, 0, you'll see there on my arrow, to this one, the second one will start at 0 0.10. So there's RR. So I'm going to edit this, come back to this text and make this letter shift O. Clone this one, bring it to the 20 second mark, edit it, go to the text and type L. And now we have ROL. Now I would take some notes to remember which one you've done because we're going to use the same, this is a template, so we can use the same one over and over and over. Now that I've done this, I'm just going to come here, go to movie,
photos. You can change your settings to anything you want. I'm just going to use 1080 and 30 frames for a second. And I'm going to save this video. Now I'm going to continue doing this for the entire text. So now I have R-O-L and I need L-L-I. And now I need NG. So this is a good example of one of the things you'll need to do. Then on the next line, I don't want to delete this. This is my template. So all I'm going to do is go to edit and I'm just going to hit this little I which hides the next line. I'm going to save this. Okay. Now I'm going to make a new project. All right, and I'm going to take that video I just created, will be this video, which is RO. And I'm going to come to about right here, which is when the next one would come in, which is exactly 1.00. Grab the next line, drop it right there at one two second mark, and we bring down the third line. Which is NG. Now one of the secrets to doing this is getting your presets on your green screen to be exactly the same. And I'm just going to do the word rolling. Obviously if you needed the word text you would create that one next. And when you make a new project, this is very important when you're doing this, we've got a black background. And I want to come in here and change that again to my zero zero. So I don't really care what these numbers are, I just delete them, put in zero zero FF zero zero. So now my background is also green. So when I get off the screen, it's still green. This is important to the very top one. I'm going to click Edit. If I come up here to the green screen, which is this one, chroma keys, and I click green screen, it's not going to be probably perfect. Remember, we're on the NG. The first thing I usually bring down is the saturation, and then I bring down the brightness range. Now this may look like, oh look, that's perfect. It could, or it maybe it isn't. So how do I test it? I go back to those settings, the project settings, and I change this background to black. By doing so, I now see the green lines in here that exist. So I'm gonna click Edit again, go back into that exact same chroma key, and I'm gonna try to do some adjustments here. Usually bringing the brightness up does it, but when you're doing that, you're also getting rid of that black edge you created. So that looks good. So now just to test it again, I'm gonna to go to project settings, change this to white. And I can take a look at that NG and that looks really, really good. I need to go back and change these colors back. I have that green screen set and this is how you're going to do something like this so it's fast. You've got this chroma key that you've just set. You want it to be the same for each one of these letters which have the exact same green screen background. So very quickly we can go to this little star right here which saves this effect that we can use it over and over and quickly redo this video. So I do 00 FF 00 and then I'm going to put in an underscore green screen. I know that that is for that color and it works perfectly. Now I'm going to click on the very bottom. I'm going to go to presets. You will now see the 00FF00 underscore GS right there and I use it. I go to this line, I hit presets, I use it again. You know it's used because there's a check mark. And if you go to this preset, I can do that again. So they're all exactly the same. And there is the rolling text. I'm gonna to come to this movie and I'm gonna save it to photos. Sorry, my dog wants to go out. I'll be right back.
we're going to go back to our template again and we need to do the word text. So we'll click on the first line, click on edit, go to the end, hit the little writing button, hit T. And this letter right here, which we hid before, we're going to go back to edit, unhide it using the little eyeball, go back to the little writing utensil, and we'll type X. All right, so now we've got TEX. We're just going to save this as a movie. We need the T for the TEXT, so we're just going to hide these two lines. So all I have is one T. And I'll go to the movie and save it. Now what I want to do is bring in rolling text. Now, I'm going to drop the word rolling down on the main timeline. So I'm going to come here and I want a little separation. So we'll go to probably the three second mark. Rolling and there's text starts right there. So once again, what do I need to do? I already have a preset. And presets are also, if you're in here, presets are also under the star, and there is my preset. So rolling text is being seen, and if that's where I want it to start, I may want more space, but right now I think that's good. And text should probably start at about the four second mark. I'll go grab that last letter. Go to presets here, and the letter is there. So you can do it either two places, which is great. And there we go, rolling text. Now that we have this, we want to make sure that even this bottom line has the preset. Just to be absolutely safe, I like everything done. I'm going to check everyone to make sure that this little check mark is here. Now I'm going to come here and make my movie. Just get rid of all this. I'm going to go here, bring in uh, one of my video backdrops. Now I'll get my rolling text, add it on the top, hit presets, click the green screen. I don't have to mess with any of those green screen settings anymore. They just work perfect. And that's how you create rolling text. Now I did tell you if you stayed and watched till the end, I'd show you a trick. And here it is by double clicking to edit. And I'm going to come over here to the little button that looks like uh, squiggles, I guess you would call it. Lots of choices here that you can choose, but I chose twirl. And almost by itself, look at this, right like that. Didn't really even have to do any settings, it just did that. Hope you had as much fun watching this as I did making it. Making rolling text was fun and learning how to make it twirl. Please make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie and smash that like button if you got time. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.